You ready to fight? Ready. Go all right, here we are back in Montreal at the Bell Center, and with, and with respect to all of the MMA fans globally around the world, for my money, this is the loudest venue I have ever heard for a UFC live. If they say that the United Center is the home that MJ built, this is George St. Pierre's home, the Bell Center in Montreal. And I'm telling you, man, when the hometown boy hits the curtain, these people go crazy. This is a phenomenal fighting ground. Oh, big knee landed by him there. Perhaps that'll give the jiu-jitsu practitioner a little pause working his way inside. Yeah, he does a good job of throwing things up the middle. If you throw knees, it really does make the grappler reconsider level changing because he's afraid to run into something like that that could end his night. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Big knee there to the chest. Oh, nice straight left. Nice jab. Oh! oh, big knee to the body. Big uppercut. Oh, big left hand. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards and had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to forget. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Tokuri has attempted the pass here, but he's denied by the defense. Let's work, guys. Come on. We'll see what he does. Oh! oh. Might get the TKO here. And back to his feet. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now he's to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, his way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Tokuria's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, beautifully done with the hook there by Ilya Tokuria. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Nice block. Back and forth. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous one? You ready to fight? Ready. Go All ahead. right, round two. Big knee. All right, same back time, same back channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again here? I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. So eye is starting to close up. Got to get that end swell on it between the oh. oh, he's stunned bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, how did he eat that up with gun? Oh, nice double leg, yes. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments.
we pass the midpoint here of the fight. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Well, he caught him. All right, so he catches the kick and finally counters with the takedown and puts him on his back. Nicely done there. He knew exactly what he was doing. He knew if he had an opportunity to secure it. Tonight, as he pounds him out for the TKO, I'm hoping I get an invite to the after <laughs> And here once more with the official decision is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 14 seconds of round number two. Declared the winner by TKO, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. All right, so Alexander Volkanovski adding another scalp to his resume. A lot of green stripes. Yeah.